The large-scale structure of the universe isn't smooth or random. It looks more like a sponge. Galaxies aren't scattered evenly. Instead, they form long strands and filaments, creating a vast structure called the cosmic web. The filaments connect clusters of galaxies like cosmic highways. But between them, there are giant voids, unimaginably huge zones of space that contain very little matter, hardly any galaxies, and even less dark matter. These voids can span from tens to hundreds of millions of light years. They're not completely empty, but compared to the rest of the universe, they're ghost towns. Here's the twist. Some scientists now believe we live inside one of them. In 2013, astronomers Keenan, Barger, and Cowie published a study analyzing galaxy distributions up to 300 million light years away. What they found was shocking. The local region around the Milky Way appeared to be underdense by about 20%. That's a significant dip in galactic population, enough to qualify as a genuine cosmic void. It was named the KBC Void after the authors. This wasn't the first time the idea had been proposed, but this data gave it new weight. If true, it means that our view of the universe may be warped by our position inside this giant underdense bubble. But why does that matter? Let's go back to the late 1990s. Astronomers observed distant supernovae and noticed something strange. Their light appeared dimmer than expected, suggesting those galaxies were moving away faster than predicted. That led to the idea of dark energy, a mysterious force accelerating the expansion of the universe. But what if that acceleration isn't real? What if it's simply an artifact, an illusion, caused by being inside a region where space is already expanding slightly faster than average? You see, light traveling from denser regions into our local underdense region would stretch differently. That stretch could mimic the effects of dark energy without any need for a new unknown force. It's like being in a valley and thinking the horizon is curved when in reality, it's your location giving the wrong impression. That's the essence of the local void hypothesis. Our perspective might be skewed because we live in a cosmic bubble. The idea gets more interesting when we look at galactic motion. In 2020, researchers analyzing Cosmic Flow's 3 data found that the Milky Way appears to be moving away from the center of the KBC void, as if being pushed outward by the surrounding cosmic matter. This fits what we'd expect. In a low-density region, gravitational pull is weaker, galaxies naturally migrate away toward higher density regions, like rivers flowing downhill. This local push might also help explain a long-standing mystery in cosmology known as the Hubble tension, the mismatch between different measurements of how fast the universe is expanding. In other words, our location inside the KBC void might be skewing the numbers. Of course, most cosmologists remain skeptical. The standard model of the universe, LCDM, still includes dark energy as a key component. For the void hypothesis to overturn it, the void would need to be enormous, hundreds of millions of light years wide, symmetrical, no big irregularities or directional bias, and consistent with observations across the sky, from the cosmic microwave background to large-scale galaxy surveys. That's a tall order. But even if the local void doesn't overturn dark energy, it's a powerful reminder of how much location matters in cosmology. We assume the universe is uniform, that no place is more special than another. But what if that assumption is wrong? If we're inside a void, we might be in a cosmological blind spot. Imagine trying to understand ocean currents while sitting in a calm lagoon. Everything around you seems still, but that doesn't mean the ocean behaves that way. If we're in a unique pocket of the cosmos, our measurements of distance, time, acceleration might need serious recalibration. This also touches a deeper question. Could our understanding of the universe be biased by where we are inside it? It's humbling and thrilling, 
to realize that even the cosmos may still be deceiving us. So, are we truly trapped in a cosmic void? Maybe, maybe not. But even entertaining the idea forces us to rethink what we know, not just about the universe, but about how we observe it. We look out at the stars assuming we're seeing a clear picture, but perhaps we're peering through a cosmic lens, warped by the empty space around us. What do you think? Are we drifting in a giant void? Or is dark energy still the most likely culprit? Let's talk in the comments. Share this video with your favorite space nerds, and don't forget to subscribe if you love unraveling the universe's best kept secrets. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the Planet Cookie Crew. Thank you.